going on, nerd tours and geek viewers of the world? Mr. Dark Phoenix is back bringing you guys the newest episode of Gotham. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, please hit subscribe. I review Game of Thrones, Gotham, Lucifer, Supergirl, The Flash, Aiden's of Shield, Teen Wolf, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow. We got some Vixen on here. We got some Netflix family, soon to be Luke Cage and Jessica Jones and all that stuff. My weekly show on Wednesday where I give you guys opinions and theories, hot button comic book news and reactions, and... Just to add up some more sugar on this, if you want to see more of me, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash Phoenix. The links for that and other good stuff is going to be in this crotch bar right here below. But just in case y'all haven't been on my channel, this is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen it yet, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to the newest episode of Gotham. Anything for you. It's like a bad song when you're trying to win somebody back that screwed you over. That's what this episode could be about. Lo and behold, the Red Hood Gang is back in all of their red ski mask and glory. That's what they do, but they're back. It's the Red Hood Gang, and Riddler's back at work, which is fucking great. Just Riddler this season. It's only been like, I think, two or three episodes or something, and Riddler has been killing it so far like I dropped my notebook fucking Riddler speaking of which Butch is behind the attacks behind the Red Hood gang because he wants Penguin to be like yeah I want to be first in charge again it's like he put Riddler in charge of a position where somebody needs to be um how does one say um smart so why is Butch so upset he's not in the smart man's position? Butch, you got a metal hand. If you were smart, you wouldn't have got your hand chopped off in the first place. But we got the Riddler, Criss Cross. Double Cross. Criss Cross, applesauce, whatever you want to call it. It's like Riddler tells Butch that he's going to kill Penguin and all that stuff or else they're going to hurt Tabitha, and then it's like, Zaz in on the plan, and he's like, he's going to frame him for it, and then Butch starts firing at Penguin, it's like, you thought I'd give you real guns, whoosh, surprise, motherfucker, and it's like, Riddler is so damn great at everything he does. At first, I was like, hmm, Riddler's not going to betray him. How is he going to make The one thing that I love about the Riddler is that no matter what, he all everything in his plan always comes back to the to like the main objective like whatever his plan is whatever he's planning whatever he wants the end result to be the plan will always go around will always come back to that and lo and behold at the end of the day he wanted to get rid of butch and that's what happened riddler wants him to run his business and his mayoral campaign at like more of a not a straight and narrow but just like more legit in the eyes of the public, which is smarter than Butch, where it's like, oh, we're just going to do this, and do whatever, and blah, 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 metal pimp hand, blah, 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 and all that stuff. But it's, it was great. It was a great scene. And then, and then like, towards the end, where, like, him and Riddler were talking about how grateful they are for each other, I'm not going to lie. I really thought they were going to kiss. And I was just like, are you motherfuckers about to kiss? And then they like leaned in. I was like, oh my god, are you motherfuckers about to kiss? And then they didn't. They just hugged it out like bros. I'm like, okay. Not that I have anything wrong with that. I wish that Stephen Amell and Colton Haynes would kiss. But that's another story for another video for another day. But, um, yeah, we've got Bruce like Selena, which is obvious. He's like, we're one of the same. She's like, no, we're not. And it's like, yeah, y'all will find that out when y'all become adults. Y'all got plenty in common once y'all become the adults. But we got the Riddler and Penguin as brothers now. It's like they've always been that way, but it's like... They're, they, they, they're, they're, they're close. They're, un, they're unbreakable. Like, you can't, you, you can't fuck with the Penguin and the Riddler. Like, Mayor Penguin, Chief of Staff, Riddler. It's gonna be awesome. I believe next week is going to be the return of the Mad Hatter. He's gonna get his revenge because they killed his sister, and Michael Chiklis is on his way to becoming the thing. So, don't forget to hit subscribe for next week's episodes, and don't forget to hit subscribe for tomorrow, because tomorrow we've got Jesse Quick on The Flash. It is going to be so great, and we've got some Aiden to shield, so hit subscribe for all that awesome stuff. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, share with your awesome nerdy friends, and always remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. I'll catch you guys next time for another great video. 
What's going on guys, it's Mr. Dark Phoenix here. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys that stuck around to the end of the video. I love and appreciate you and I need your help. It is my Patreon. It is patreon.com slash Mr. Dark Phoenix. There is a card or link here in the videos and there's also a link in the uh, description bar below. 